Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to obtain Easting and Norving data from postcodes using MyMaster's GeoConvert feature. Um, I'll put the the uh, the link in, in the description below. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to start by logging in. Uh, you have to have a UK Federation account. If you're at uh, university, you should have one of these. Um, so you're going to want to find... yeah. You're going to want to find your organisation and log in as you would normally. Uh, once you're logged in, you're going to go to the first box, make sure it's ticked, information about postcodes, and then click next. Uh, this next page allows you to choose the version, uh, or well, the NSPD version of which sort of postcode you'd like to to use. You're going to want to pick the newest one, so that's November 2010, and then press next. You'll then get this next page where it gives you lots of options of things you can you can obtain from postcodes. Um, you can obtain deprivation scores, certain characteristics like when the postcodes were introduced, and attributes such as the, the address count and the number of businesses and things like that. What we're interested in is Easting and Norving values, which is under locational information. So you want to check both boxes and then press next. Uh, on this page, you can supply either a single postcode, but if you're doing more than one, it's much easier to upload a file. Um, with the postcodes in. Uh, be aware that you can only do 50 at a time so if you've got loads to do it's you have to split it down into individual files. Uh, this is the file I'm going to be using, it's an Excel file and what you have to do is you just have to put a single column with all your postcodes in. You can either select to have a, t a title or like a title cell or not, it doesn't matter. Um, key thing is you're going to want to save it as a CSV file, which is comma delimited. So it's usually just in the save type. It's this one, C CSV comma delimited. Once you've done that, you're going to want to upload it to the site. If you put a, a header row, you're going to want to select that. And you obviously want to make sure it's selected comma as the delimiter. And you're going to browse to your file. And press next. Uh, if it's successful, you'll just get this. If it's not, you'll get error messages and things. Uh, to view the data that you've got, just click postcode metadata. And it'll open up an Excel file. Yeah, so as you can see, it's come up with here these two columns C and D, the Eastings and the Norvings values for these postcodes. Um, save this file, and then you can add it to ArcGIS or any GIS software, and use these Easting and Norving values to show the postcode data as points on your map. Okay, once you've saved the Excel file, you're going to want to make some edits to it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to delete any columns that you don't really need, such as the second postcode column and the numbers at the beginning, because they don't really mean anything. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to change the headings. The headings that come out of GeoConvert are too long and contain characters that ArcGIS can't read. So you want to change them to something simple and short, like I've done here, postcodes, Eastings and Norvings. Uh, then you're going to want to save the file as just an Excel workbook. When you're in your GIS, you're going to add data and find where you saved the file, and you're going to add it. Then you're going to open the context menu by right-clicking and go to Display XY Data. In the box that comes up, you're going to want to set the X field to Easting and the Y field to Northing, and then press OK. Once you've done this, the point should appear in the correct place. Uh, these examples that I've used here are Anfield, Old Trafford and Villa Park, so they, they look like they're in the right place. I uh, hope this has been useful to you and given you an insight into what GeoConvert can do. It does have some other features, so it's definitely worth playing around with. 